Hey guys, okay. Here's the last video from today. Um, I'm gonna be talking about well the, the the all the testing that I've been doing to make sure that with the uh 13900K, the 4090, and all the hardware that I've had on this uh computer. And let me go over here so anybody that sees this video, uh they don't have to go to another video just to get an idea. So we got 128 gigabytes of RAM, DDR5, um, the the Intel Core i9 uh, 13900K, and NVIDIA 4090. We got two NVMe um, of one gigabyte each. This is basically the total of all the. Let me just show you. So we got two NVMe, two literally. Hard drives like the 7,200 7, RPM ones, and we got two Samsung SSDs, the 8050 Pro one terabyte, another one um, uh, half half a terabyte there. I can't make this bigger. That uh, you suck. Oh, yeah. It's the same one. That's what I'm trying to say here. So anyway, we got this type of uh, computer hardware and all. We got a Ubuntu 2210. And basically here, in full transparency, you can see what the hell do I have here. The motherboard is an Asus uh, Z790 uh, Hero. And today I updated the, the firmware to the newest version, which um, which is, I have no idea. Let's see, I forgot the, the number. BIOS. The 0813. Okay, so, oh, and also the drivers. So I updated the drivers, uh, the, the, the last firmware for the motherboard, and I updated also the drivers for the NVIDIA card. So we're using this one here too, which by the way, now that we're talking about compatibility and all that, this was before um, the, the firmware update on the motherboard and before the NVIDIA driver update. Okay, just uh, I want you to, to to look at this. This is Cyberpunk uh, uh, 4K. Uh, I remember, I think at DLSS I had it in quality. I, I forgot. I think I it, or in auto or something like that. Uh, I didn't change it between the the second image that I'm about to show you. So this is the second one. This second one is after the the BIOS update of the firmware plus the um, the NVIDIA driver update. Okay, so I want to show you, I would say a weird thing that I found. So on both cases, you can, oh, well, here's the DLSS. Okay, so on both cases, um, there are 60. On, on the, before the, the NVIDIA driver and the motherboard uh, update, we were getting, I, I did t three tests, and basically the average was this one. Um, so 61, 62, you could say 62 frames there. And on the new one, we're getting 60. Um, the minimum was, was 40 on both cases, but the maximum is what changed. Okay, and I actually did three tests and I was just getting, yeah, it was always 121, 121. The only thing that was changing is that, that 73 is the only thing that was changing. Um, I went from, you know, the maximum or the peak there went from 80 to 40 more frames. Uh, you could say that, okay? But the average stayed the same. So just something to look at if somebody else wants to start benchmarking this type of hardware or, or just the BIOS and NVIDIA driver updates, uh, be my guest. Uh, at least you get an idea here, okay? But this is a video about stability so um i've gotten to a point and actually let me just show you well okay here are the tests that i was doing like i'm really tired of playing uh i, I like coding and stuff like that but this is just for you guys for me to to be able to test so what i the test that i did was an hour and a half of counter strike and then minimum of an hour for all these games I did not have a crash. I did not have any problem. By the way, I was actually transcoding too. I actually also play a little bit of um, 
uh, what switch Nintendo switch here update this baby again again um, well you can see the time is stuff here um, and during the last I would say I would say like a week a week in something I've been testing and testing and testing the games in regards to stability so I I got to that stable level by doing two things okay two things so if you look for on on Ubuntu here the kernel the only two big things that I actually did on this computer was I changed the 519 kernel to this one 6.17 actually I used the, the 0 0.5 0 0.6 and 0.7 during this uh, the, the my testing period to make sure that if this was a stable enough um, setup on Linux for this type of hardware. Why? I mean, I've been, I've not any, no issues whatsoever. I would say, yeah. Um, with this last one, so right now I'm on this one. Actually, we can do a quick test there. You can see. Okay, this is one of the, the changes that I did. The other one is this one so let me go here and you can see yourself uh all the uh, parameters that i have for the kernel so i actually started documenting them actually yeah they're all documented okay so let me explain all of them with the exception of this one this one is not needed if you update to the 6.0 or 6.1 i forgot which one um after that, you actually don't need this. This was to solve an issue with the NVIDIA card. It's not needed anymore. Um, if, if you're using one of those uh, kernel versions. Mitigations, if anybody have seen this one, that's to remove all the like code that's on the kernel to mitigate you getting hacked by some weird uh, techniques uh, attack either the CPU, memory, the kernel per se, like weird things. Okay, I disable this one because, dude, I, I don't work for the government or for a huge company. I'm just a desktop user, a gamer. That's it. That's all. Okay, a small developer. So that that's disabled. That actually gave me, I would say, around eight percent of performance boost there in general. Uh, and there's others actually if you guys can actually read this you can see um, the reasons why I, 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 I put this cases so this one was to avoid small warnings that I was seeing Dmesh like a lot of them actually especially when playing Steam games and it was crashing a lot if you if your games on Steam on latest hardware start crashing like crazy just uh, look at the type Dmesh and if you start uh, seeing stuff that says split lock uh, detected here and broken whatever put this uh, as a parameter there uh, here's another one that I was putting um, especially because of the way that some hardware doesn't like to be read in the proper way uh, it's called PCI register mapping there um, and actually solved an issue again with NVIDIA all this all this is for NVIDIA stuff, specifically this one. Um, actually, all of this, I would say, because of, um, I'm gonna be doing a video about um, pass-through in a virtual environment, okay? So I'm gonna be using um, this one, Vert. Um, I was gonna use um, uh, VirtualBox, which is a, the common one that I use, but it doesn't support this, so. Uh, go to hell, VirtualBox. I'm going to be using this one, and I'll be doing a video about um, QM and, and all that. Especially with a pass-through in a single, single pass-through. I, I don't have two, like, I do have two video cards, but I want to do it with one because most of you won't have two. Okay, That's also the reason why I enable these two here. Uh, I also enable this one because for some reason, at least for now, the... Um, the computer like turns off a couple of cores for the NVIDIA card. So I'm like, dude, stop it. So that's why I did this. So it doesn't go to three or five, the C state. 
because yeah. I don't know. I don't know what for now. I don't know what's happening in this too. But he actually either crashes an app. It's very random, but it was happening. So I, me digging and digging and digging, I got to a point where okay. So I put this here and no crash whatsoever. I've been rendering a lot. Well, you've seen all the videos. Um, well, and everything. So here, open book of everything that I've been doing over the past since November, getting it to a point where it's super stable. And I could say that it's been days since I've had any, um, well, freezes, none, uh, crashes. They got rare and rare and rare until I got to this point where I have not had a crash for a week and something. Um, but I wanted to just to share this. So uh, if you guys, you can cherry pick which ones you want to use and put them there. By the way, th these are just for all of these ones. Are just for when you're booting, it, it, you know, it renders a 4K and all that. And the NVIDIA actually loads beforehand. Bef or because there were some issues with the NVIDIA card. Uh, it needed to be independently loaded. So that's why I had to put this here. So uh, especially for this part. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what I could say about this video. So you guys get an idea about it. By the way, if you update to 6, 6 6.1 um, and all that, you, you get this cool thing. So for example, I get now I'm getting notifications about my headset uh battery and well now it's saying that it's uh charging well it's dis discharging but let me show you something let me connect this here yeah i want to show you that that's pretty cool like that wasn't happening before for me um the mouse is always discharging but obviously it's the, the mouse pad the, um, the power play actually charges it by the way, Logitech actually names the, the PowerPlay Candy Companion. <laughs> uh, don't ask me. Okay, why? Um, but yeah, I can tell you now that, you know, I, I tested this one um, quickly there. Um, and all fine. Um, except, I think it was this one or this one. That's, let me click this one. There was one that was giving me an issue, but I know it's a um, Rockstar issue. Let's see for the services. Let's, yeah, okay, so it's this one. So even if I run it here and I clean it up, it still fails. So that that's that. Um I also wanted to mention about the parameters that I gave you guys on the last video about Cyberpunk. Uh I actually started playing with all those parameters. Especially if you're using the latest Proton Experimental Bleeding Edge or you're using GA Proton Proton from well the latest, you actually don't need all those parameters. You only need this. Okay? So I, I didn't like I gave you a bunch, but this is on, on the only thing that you need. I'll put this in the description. You enable this. Uh I could put I could put Mango Hut here. Uh game mode run, the command. I'm actually using this too because the launcher is that pop up that shows here and skip start screen just skips one one press of the space bar before it loads the game. So with all this, I can actually get here. Show you. Someday. There we go. Um okay, well here you can see everything that I'm using. So I get here super quickly and let me set up because I was playing in 4K for testing purposes. But here you can see everything and the ray tracing is enabled. Okay. And the only thing that I actually had there was parameter. That's all. That's it. Um in the case of because the, this game, Cyberpunk and Witcher, are from the same company. In the game, case of The Witcher, look at this too. This one's for the pop-up that shows here. And this one's for the when the game loads, there's an additional screen that you got to press spacebar. For the launcher, I removed that parameter for The Witcher. Okay, 
and I'm gonna explain why. If you, if you, you can see that the launcher is down here, the parameter. If you put the parameter there, you won't be able to pick if you're gonna be using DirectX 11 or 12 because the pop-up literally is the one that gives you the option of loading one or the other, this, this pop-up. So by default, it will get this one. So you, you, want, you don't want the launcher to, to disappear. You want it to show and then you click play. That, that was it. So with that, uh, um, hope this video will tell you how reliable uh, Ubuntu and Linux in general is uh, on this type of hardware. Okay, so big hugs to everybody. Thank you for uh, for subscribing. That that's actually very encouraging. Okay, for me to keep on doing videos and all that. And yeah, think positive and let me know in the comments how I can help you. Okay, bye.